In this lesson, we're going to animate our coral bleaching cause composition. Okay, so we're right here where we left off with our ocean acidification comp. And what I want to do, just to make sure that the coral bleaching comp is exactly the same size, is duplicate the ocean acidification comp, and then we'll just build inside of there. Now, there's a little bit of an issue if you just duplicate right here on the timeline. It's going to update in both of the comps, and then we won't have our ocean acidification anymore. So we actually need to duplicate the ocean acidification comp over here in the project panel. So what I'm going to do is duplicate it first here on the timeline and then replace it with a duplicated version from the project panel. And I'm going to do that just to make sure that it's in exactly the same place as uh, the ocean acidification one. So it's going to be right in the middle of everything. So let's go ahead and make sure first of all that this is right in the middle because it looks like it may be just a little bit off um, just judging from this bottom edge here and this line on our on our title action save. So just going to nudge that over and maybe down a little bit. Okay, so now we'll go ahead, grab that ocean acidification comp, hit control D to duplicate it. And then let's come over here to the project panel. And actually, you know what, let's clean up some of this. We're getting a few comps that aren't going into the comps folder. So we'll grab those and drag them in there. And let's make a folder for video just so we can put those video clips in there. Just those ABIs. There you go. Okay, so now let's go into the comps. Ocean acidification is right there. We're going to hit Control D to duplicate. And now we have ocean acidification 2. And let's rename that to coral bleaching. And now let's replace this one with it. So just select this composition in your project panel and make sure you have this ocean acidification comp selected that we want to replace and I'll alt drag the coral bleaching comp onto it. Perfect. So now that has that new name and they're not going to reference each other anymore. So I'm going to hold control and scrub to figure out exactly where we want coral bleaching to begin. There's ocean acidification Right about here is where he starts to say coral bleaching. So we'll just pull this over here. I'm holding shift to snap it onto the current time indicator. Then we'll double click in here. And then let's just go ahead and we'll do the same thing that we did earlier to replace this circle. But we'll just replace it with the one that is for ocean acidification. So let's go over to our infographic split. And I'm just going to zoom in right here. This is the coral bleaching piece. So we'll select this navy circle, right click it, go to reveal layer source and project. Now we see it over here in our project panel. We'll go into our coral bleaching comp and let's find that layer that's been selected. It's right there. And we'll just alt drag to replace. And now we got that navy color. And I'm just actually going to delete everything else inside of here because we don't need the ocean acidification pieces for coral bleaching. So now if I come out here, you can see kind of how that looks. Okay, so let's go back into our infographic split now and grab the other pieces we need. So that's just going to be those two little pieces of coral, the yellow and the white. So I just dragged a box around those and then shift selected so that I wasn't getting that background anymore. And then we'll hit control C to copy, go back into the coral bleaching comp and hit control V to paste. And we'll just drag those up there. Now all of these need to have their continuously rasterized switch turned on. So we'll do that. And then let's just scale them up a little bit. And great thing about this is that we don't have, um, we do have a mask on the outside of this comp, so it's okay if this hangs off the bottom a little bit. Just kind of move that back over so we get the nice little shadow from that. And what I want to do is use an effect on 
the white part to make it look kind of like it's wiggling around and growing. So what we'll do is, that's the one that I have selected right now. I'm just going to turn this into After Effects Shapes. So we'll right click the layer, go to Create Shapes from Vector Layer, and then let's just delete the Illustrator one. We don't need it anymore. And now we can add an effect from over here in that Add Flyout menu. So I'm going to pull this up and pull it up a little bit more just so you can see. I'm going to use Wiggle Paths. So go ahead and click that. And you can see that now this has kind of a fuzzy look to it. And if I hit the zero key, you can see how that kind of is on top of everything else. So it makes it feel like, you know, something's definitely going wrong with this coral because um, that those edges just are so jagged. Now we can go into the Wiggle Pass effect and change some of these parameters. So maybe turn this down so it's not quite so intense on that size. So now it's at a four. So you can still see that yellow background a little bit better now. Okay, so that's looking really good, exactly what we want to do. And now I just want to pre-comp both of these together to make it look kind of like the coral grows up into this. And I want them to be um, scaling together so it'll be easier just to pre-compose the two layers. So we'll select both of them, hit Control shift c We'll call these Coral with Wiggle. And then I want it to kind of grow up from the bottom. And I'm going to use a scale animation to do that. So let's move our anchor point so it will scale from that lower part. And then let's go ahead and bring up the scale parameter here. Hit the S key. We'll move forward just a little bit and make sure that that's at 100. And we'll move down. And I don't want to scale this up all the way from zero. I'm just going to have it be smaller. So maybe just right about there. And the second one, let's hit F9 so that we get a nice ease into that. Turn on our motion blur. And then let's go back out to the main coral infographic and watch that. Perfect. Okay, so let's see where he finishes saying ocean acidification and moves on to the next word. So I'm just going to hold control and scrub. So right about here, he starts to say high carbon dioxide levels. So we'll go ahead and go back into the coral bleaching comp. And let's just have this scale up a little bit past 100 just so it keeps going. So that's just at 104. And I'm going to turn this one into an auto bezier. So I'll just control click that a couple of times so that it's round. And then it'll just keep moving through getting just a little bit bigger, just like that. Okay, let's go back out to the main coral comp. Ocean acidification, coral bleaching. Okay, so right about here is where high carbon dioxide is going to pop on here. So let's go ahead and we'll animate the high carbon dioxide comp in the next lesson. And since I already showed you how to set up a new composition by doing all of that duplication stuff, I'm going to go ahead and do that in between lessons just so you don't have to watch me do it again in the next lesson. So I'll just be duplicating this and then duplicating it over in the project panel and then replacing it. And I'll go ahead and just put those layers in there for the carbon dioxide comp, which is going to be this right here. And then we'll just start from there. So I'll see you in the next lesson.